as a, a father who has children in the house still, um, this time of not being able to gather with the church has created a new dynamic for our family to worship, and I know that in your household as well, but especially with children, it can be a challenge. Uh, mm -hmm. How do you get children to, to uh, participate in family worship and to do so in a way that benefits them? I don't know that we have ultimate control over that, but what we can do, I think, is, is seek to be sensitive to where they are, mm -hmm. uh, to recognize that for children, sitting still can be a challenge. Uh, listening to something for a long time can be a challenge. And so um, for my family, I prefer simplicity mm -hmm. in family worship. I don't want to make it too complicated or too taxing upon them. Uh, but we just gather around in the living room on Sunday mornings. We, um, we read a scripture and pray together to begin. And we sing one or two songs uh, together. And uh, of course, you can use technology to help you do that. If you play an instrument, uh, all the better. Mm -hmm. but, uh, but we sing together, and then we listen to the sermon for that Sunday, and then we close by singing the doxology together. It's a very simple format. Um, families, uh, families in our church, families in churches across the, the nation, um, I would just encourage you to be intentional and, uh, and take responsibility to make sure that you are worshiping together. Put some structure in place, but uh, don't worry about being too elaborate with it. Do you have any thoughts? I, th I think that's excellent advice for families. Um, Tammy and I have raised our children, so we're on the other end of this. We're on the, the old, old folks' end <laughs> of, of this. And uh, one, thing, one thing it affords for us is we get up early anyhow. Uh, like I like to say, you can lay in bed and hurt or you can just get <laughs> up. Uh, so we, we get up and, uh, and then we spend time... Uh, listening to some music, uh, preferably listening to some Cornerstone music. And j Raz, uh, along with our band, put together a, a video uh, that was so good with uh, the song, uh, uh, Yet Not I But Christ In Me, and or Christ Through Me. And just such a good song. And I don't know how uh, they did that, but it, it was fantastic. Mm -hmm. So we enjoyed that. And then some other uh, uh, praise music and uh, listening to the sermon that has been up every Sunday morning, and then praying together, praying for our church family, and praying for one another. Um, I think it's so important as you age. Uh, it, I mean, it's important when you're young. It's important all the time. But especially as you age, uh, get together with your spouse. Your children are gone, and spend time praying for one another and pray through those uh, uh, latter years of your life. You're going to have more and more to pray about because you're going to have more and more aches and pains. Uh, but really uh, begin to uh, minister to one another in prayer and spend time praying about what's in front of you uh, for your day, what's behind you from yesterday. Mm -hmm. And just ask God to do good things in you. Because, uh, you know, I, I want to grow old because the alternative is, uh, you know, something else. Um, but uh, I don't want to grow old and be sour. Hmm. Good word. I, and I think the way we're going to do that is we're going to draw near to the Father. And He loves us um, in a way that's completely incomprehensible. And so even if we're old and hurting, God still loves us. Mm, and uh, so I want to see uh, Tammy and, and, uh, and me grow in the knowledge and appreciation of that.